it's definitely silver coin. I believe the date is 1727. That's a US World War II rolled up Bristol Myers Company tube. Two huge buckets. Definitely from the Second World War. Take a look at that guys. 1942. This is absolutely amazing. Oh my god. That's a World War II US dog tag. Oh my god, I haven't looked at it yet. Oh, there we go. I have absolutely no words. And it's right next to the foxhole right here. This is unreal. All right, right next to the hole where I found Benny's dog tag, right over there. Just had another signal and look at this. This is a soluble coffee product and it's in good condition too. All right, again, that's where I found the dog tag and right next to it, another signal. And this is actually a German World War II 8 mm Mauser shell casing. It was a live round because you can see on the bottom, it's not been fired. The primer is red, which means that it's a super armor piercing round. That's pretty rare German ammunition. It's not fire, so the US soldiers probably took the bullet out and maybe started a fire or something like that with a powder. But it's a cool find for sure. All right, we are in the same location today again. You can already see a lot of foxholes here. And I already found um, some remains of a German Bona cheese tube right over there. And it's had a good signal right next to a foxhole. And this is what I found. I believe this is from a crashed plane. I think so. It's aluminum, maybe some numbers in it. Who knows? Let's see if we can find more. It's pretty late already and it's very cold, but uh, let's see what we can find. I just found a US ration behind me next to a foxhole, a uh, coffee ration. And over here you can see these have an old bottle, definitely from the same time frame. And just found a live round. It's broken, but it's definitely US World War II. Between the foxholes, an exploded 303, definitely from the crashed British airplane. There's a foxhole. And right over here, this bottle was just laying right over there. It's a surface find. And look at this, right there on the bottom, 1943. How cool is that? And right over here is a foxhole, as you can see. And I had a signal in the middle of the foxhole. And look what I found. Um, I found this tool, definitely. From the US soldiers, probably for uh, repairing vehicles and stuff. And I don't know what this is, I just found these strange iron pieces, it's broken. There's still some remains of wood. Yeah, it looks pretty strange, I just don't know what it is. I'm not gonna keep it because it's broken and it's a strange item, I don't know. It's World War II for sure, but this one is definitely coming with me. This is awesome, let's move on. Right next to this foxhole, had a great signal and just found a thick old coin. Take a look at that. It's pretty thick. And I believe there's some kind of a shield right there. Oh, that looks cool. Hopefully it cleans up nice. Probably not, but uh, awesome. Today we're in the same forest again. And like I told you guys many times before, a couple big bombers came down uh, in this forest. Also V1 rockets, which is pretty interesting. I found parts of them before. And over there, I just found a piece of aluminum, definitely aircraft. I think this might be from a V1 or from one of the planes. I'm not sure, it's definitely exploded. It's a cool find. I can't keep this one, but it's an interesting find for sure. All right, this is pretty crazy. Uh, right next to a foxhole, I had a signal. And it was right under the leaves. And it's a shell casing, but this one is definitely new. Probably from a hunter. It's Winchester, I believe, yes. So, yeah, it's a pretty cool shell casing. All right, take a look at this one. It's a Coca-Cola bottle. It's definitely not World War II, but maybe 50s or something. Uh, I love to find old soda bottles when they're complete. It's in great condition. Look at that, Coca-Cola. Definitely a keeper. Every time I see them again, and it's it's just fantastic. Just look at those foxholes. It's so amazing. They're everywhere. And right over here is another one, very deep. And right next to it is a jar. And it's broken. There is no marking on. No, nah, there is some kind of a marking. It's definitely also from the same time frame. There's no date or anything on it, so I'm not gonna keep it. And it's broken, but uh, yeah, it's cool. It's still there. Hmm, a strange relic. Could be from an Allied plane, could be from a German plane, could be from a V1 rocket, or maybe from something food related. I don't know. Interesting find. So right over there is where I found that strange uh, thing. And right over there, underneath that uh, 
plant, I found um, another piece of iron. And look what I found over here. This is definitely from a crashed bomber. And if we look in the inside, we can see the same thing as we just found. There's another interesting thing right there. Hopefully there are still some numbers in it. I don't think so. Yeah, this is a very, very cool piece. All right, so pretty close to Benny's foxhole. It's right over there. Just had a signal and take a look at this. That's a US World War II push button. But that's a very nice find. Right, so that's actually another one in the same hole. It's done a recheck and uh, that's number two. Interesting. Just found one of those um, exploded 303s over there from the crash plane. And over here, had a great signal. And look at this. That's a World War II US coffee ration or maybe a lemon juice powder. And there is another one in the same hole. Look at that right there. I don't want to break it, so I'm just going to use my knife, I think. Yeah, let's try to dig it out. There we go. I think it's loose, yeah. Look at that. Orange juice powder. Two more rations, or maybe three. Not sure how many of these are. Awesome. All right, so I've done a recheck again, just to make sure. And there was actually another one inside. Look at that. Very good condition. Orange juice powder. Awesome, fine. Looks like it's still full, but I don't think so. Let's carry on. Here you can see a US foxhole, and right on the edge of the foxhole, had a signal. And look at this, there's something from iron, and I don't know what it is, but it looks pretty strange. Hmm, right on the edge. Let's see what it is. All right, so it turned out to be an exploded thing. <laughs> maybe from the plane or maybe from a big bomb. Who knows? Foxhole, signal, relic. That's a broken US World War II life round. And if we look in the bottom, we can see the date. 1942, right on top. TW 1942. All right, once again, <laughs> there's a foxhole pretty deep. And right over here, I just saw this. Let's take a look together. Yeah, that's, that's definitely on the same time frame. No doubt about that. It's definitely old. And that's definitely another piece of the plane. Very nice piece. Still a lot of green paint on it. In the middle of a foxhole, another signal. And it's another piece of aircraft aluminum. Right, another cool find. A 303, but uh, a complete one. Pretty good condition. And on the bottom we can see the stamp, 1943. And that's actually another one. Uh, this one is a part of the belt link still on it. It's from the crashed uh, bomber. But uh, oh, I really have to turn off my detector now. We need to go and it's late already. So yeah, I just have to shut it off. It's, it's very hard to do. But um, there are so many foxholes still here that I haven't checked, but um, yeah, bye forest. All right, today in the same location again, um, right next to a trench. I just found a German bone at you, but it was underneath a root, so uh, it was very hard to take it out. And right now, had another signal. And look what I just found, a toothpaste tube. Let's see if we can find more. All right, I'm pretty close to Benny's foxhole right now, somewhere over there. And right over here is a foxhole, over here as well. There you can see a foxhole and over there. And right next to it, I just had a good signal. And look at this. This really looks like a pocket knife to me. And look at the color right there. I mean, that has to be gold, right? Look at that, it's not oxidated or anything, so, and the ground is very bad here. So that has to be gold. Hmm, this is, <laughs> this is a very cool find. Uh, this is definitely a pocket knife. I'm gonna clean it to be sure, but, uh, I would say this is a pocket knife. If it is a pocket knife, that's, then I'm pretty sure this was lost by one of the soldiers who were sitting in one of these foxholes. That is absolutely amazing. I'm gonna clean it, hold on. All right, so I cleaned it a little, and yeah, it's definitely a pocket knife. This is very, very cool. And look at that, it looks so nice. Yeah, it really looks like gold to me. That's another fantastic relic. Awesome, and I'm using my uh, my new gloves right now because I was just using my old ones and there was one hole in one of the fingers and I just cut myself, so uh, yeah. Time to use the new ones, but this is a great find. Right, I had a signal in one of the foxholes and it was pretty deep. That's where it was, right there, so that's the original ground from the foxhole. So we know how deep this foxhole was and that's what it is. It's a ration can or maybe shoe polish or something. It's definitely from the US soldiers. I wonder what's in there. Pretty heavy, still full. Uh, so that was 
still inside of the foxhole. How cool is that? And right next to the same foxhole, another signal under the lease, right there, a life and one carbine round. We can see it says PC and I believe 43 in the bottom. And that's another piece of the crashed bomber. Just look at the paint right there. Next to a foxhole, small signal, and it turned out to be a bullet. I actually think this one is German. It's pretty rusty. All right, just found a shell casing, but um, it looks like an eight millimeter Mauser, but it's shorter. So I'm not sure what it is, and I'm not sure what it says on the bottom. So I don't know, it's a strange, strange shell casing. All right, just found something strange. I found this stuff before in positions, but this time there is actually something on it. Some kind of ration stuff. All right, I'm pretty close to the, the crash uh, side of the plane right now. And I just found this big piece of iron, which is definitely exploded. This is a foxhole right here. And I just found the same stuff again. Um, it's getting scary right over here. Just look at that. And that's another exploded 303 from the crashed plane. All right, here are some of the finds after cleaning. These are not all the finds, but the most interesting ones. We found some very cool and also very special relics this time. Let's start with the post-war stuff. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a post-war shell casing, hunting shell casing. This one is definitely post-war, look at the condition. Uh, this one is probably also post-war. Looks a little bit like Mauser, but it's, uh, yeah, but it's not. It's a little bit shorter. I think it's post-war. And we have these two post-war coins, uh, very bad condition. Here we got some exploded 303s from the crashed plane. You can still see the dates on them. That one is 1943. All exploded live round. This one is pretty cool. Still has a part of a belt link right there on top. Um, also found some complete ones, but uh, had to leave those behind piece of shrapnel, the remains of three cal live rounds. Here we got a German shell casing with a red primer. That means that it's a super armor piercing round. Let's go to the glass. We got some very nice looking bottles. Yeah, I know this one is post-war, but it's still a very nice one. Coca-Cola, gotta love these old bottles. Great condition. This one also just a cool old bottle. And then of course we got these found next to the foxholes. No markings on this one, but definitely from the same time frame. I really love these two. Just look at this. This is absolutely fantastic. These are beer bottles. And if we look on the bottom, we can see the date 1943. The cool thing is that one is 1943, and this one is 1942, right there. So I got two different years, and this one is still complete. Didn't clean this too much because I really don't want to damage it. They're not just bottles from that time frame. You know for sure that US soldiers use these because uh, it was found next to the foxhole. So how cool is that? This has something to do with oil, I believe, and this is a strange item. Actually reminds me a little bit of a part from a weapon, but I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. It's a strange item. Then we have this one found in a foxhole. Very cool find. Still have to clean a lot more, but I have to wait until the, the rust is dried and stuff. Then it will be easier to clean it. And just take a look at all the rations we found. Orange juice powder, lemon juice powder, coffee, a lot of different stuff. These are always amazing to find. This one is very cool. Individual right over there. And look at the condition. Found these before on US positions. This one is the same. That's an orange juice powder. This is an orange juice powder. Uh, this is another orange juice, orange juice, orange juice, orange juice. This is one that was folded so strange, very small. It's also an orange juice powder. Soluble coffee product. Um, I like this one a lot. Component of the US Army Field Ration K. How cool is that? Here we got another coffee. And this one was found next to Benny's foxhole. Colgate toothpaste tube. And I unfolded this one and look at that. Toothpaste. Bristol Myers, New York. Just look at the bright colors. Unbelievable. This was rolled up by a US soldier during the Second World War. And this is the first time we can take a look at it again. On the other side it says some teeth stuff. And over here, made in the United States of America. Great find, and here we got the, the top part. Very cool. And here we have the old coins. Um, yeah, this one is just unreadable, but I think it's a Belgian 1800s coin. I'm not sure, it's just too far gone. Uh, we have this one, this one is very nice. Look at this beautiful hammered coin. It's a 1700s French coin. It's not in the best condition, but you can still see. Uh, 
It's pretty hard to see on the camera, but there is a head right there. It's pretty heavy and thick. Very nice. And of course, my favorite one, the silver coin. It's a German coin. It's a 10 Kreuzer from 1727. It's worn a lot, but you can still see the date right there, 1727. And on the other side, a shield right there. Beautiful hammered coin. Then we have the aircraft parts. Um, yeah, that big part that I found is actually very cool. I'm first gonna show you these parts. So, like I told you guys before, some big Allied planes came down in that area during the Second World War, but uh, also V-1 rockets. I'm pretty sure that most of this is from a V-1. I'm gonna explain that in a minute, but first I'm gonna show you these parts. This is a very nice piece. can still see some original black paint right there. The aluminum is in pretty good condition. Here we got some cool pieces. Let's look at that greenish color. Very nice. More pieces. This is blue. Another thick piece of aluminum. This strange thing, not sure what it was, but definitely from an aircraft. And this part is very cool. This piece actually has a number right over there. There you can see it. This part is probably gonna be from the plane. But the bomber and the V-1 rocket came down pretty close to each other. And now I'm going to show you the big piece of aluminum. There we go. Yes, um, I sprayed it with some stuff because uh, green paint was coming off. As you can see everywhere, it still has a very, very nice green color. First I thought this was from the Allied bomber, but now, now I know what this is. I saw something right there. And first I didn't know what it was for sure. But now I can actually read what it says. You know what it is, guys, right there? Yes, guys, it says nicht, which means don't. And after some research, I know what this is. It's supposed to say nicht anfassen. So the word nicht is right over there, and anfassen should be right over there. That right there is the N. As you can see, like that. That's the N. Nicht anfassen. That means don't touch. You know what this is, guys? This is a part from a V-1 rocket rudder. It's very rare and it's extremely cool. So this is definitely from a uh, V-1 rocket and yeah, it's an absolutely fantastic find. It's just crazy. I didn't expect it and I'm really glad I can still read this. Nicht, definitely German, nicht anfassen. So now we know that somewhere in that area the V-1 rocket crashed and a Allied plane. It's an amazing piece. And I really hope the paint's gonna stay on there because it's, yes, this is just fantastic. Look at this. This is just a great piece of history. Here we have remains of German rations. I'm actually very lucky with this piece. Look at this. I almost threw it away, but I took it with me and look at this after cleaning. There is actually a date on it right over there, 1943, right there on the top, 1943. So yeah, this is from a German Bona cheese tube. Here you can see a picture. That's what it's supposed to look like. So uh, yeah. Now it's like this, but it's, it's still a fantastic piece. And here we have the pocket knife that was found next to the foxholes. Um, yeah, that right there is definitely gold. That's pretty unusual, but it's definitely gold. So uh, yeah, that's a pretty special pocket knife. Just look at that. That is amazing. I believe the blade is missing, so it probably broke and he threw it away or he lost it maybe. I don't know. It's not in the best condition, 
but it's still definitely recognizable. And of course the, the dock tag, uh, you guys already have seen this one, but uh, yeah, it was already clean of course, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to show you again. I'm just really, really glad I found this one. There are no words uh, to describe that. Yeah, we found some really, really cool stuff this time. I can't wait for the next hunt. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you liked the video. If you did like the video, please leave a like and a comment. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And subscribe if you want to see more metal detecting videos. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.